Conditions of Immortality. It's a poem by William Wordsworth. Uh, I first got to know about this poem from the Kerry mystic and poet John Moriarty. And it's quite a long poem, but we're just dealing with one verse of it today. Our birth is but a sleep and a forgetting. The soul that rises with us, our life star, hath it elsewhere its setting and cometh from afar. Not an entire forgetfulness and not another nakedness, but trailing clouds of glory do we come from God who is our home. In this mystical uh, poem, Woolsworth is speaking about the reality we perceive uh, to be the one and only reality is actually like a dream, a kind of a sleep, he calls it. And the reason for that is that we have forgotten the, the glories we have once known, our, our homeland, our home ground, if you like, the ground of our being, and perceive this one reality as the only one and true reality. Um, we have forgotten it and we haven't forgotten it. And this is the, the contradiction and the, the dilemma that uh, the human creature lives in and is caught up in. We can't entirely remember the glories we have known, our true state, but we can't entirely forget it either. If we could walk off and uh, just forget about it, then we might be more at peace with what we consider mm, the real sensory world. But we can't entirely forget and we are always seeking it in one thing are another thing in, in people, in relationships, in achieving and acquiring and we search and search and still are almost symptoms to a kind of divine dissatisfaction. Uh, so that's why he likens it uh, to a sleep and a forgetting. And heaven lies about us in our infancy. Shades of the prison house begin to close upon the going by, but he beholds the light, he sees it in his joy. Well, here Woodsworth is saying, heaven lies about us in our infancy. Well, how does it lie about us in our infancy? Um, it lies about us because the infant child is in that state of completeness and, and glory. Uh, there is no separation, no division, there is no isolated feeling because the little child has not yet identified with the body, with the name. So he's not anything in particular or she, the child just is, just pure being, not being anything in particular. And that, that's what Woodward was speaking about in this part of the verse. Mm. The youth who daily further from the east must travel still is nature's priest, and by the vision splendid is on his way attended. At length the man perceives it die away and fade into the light of common day. By travelling from the east, uh, he is uh, speaking here about travelling out from the home ground. Uh, of course, we don't really travel out from the home ground, uh, we travel within it, but we have forgotten that. And um, the you too daily further from the East must travel, still is nature's priest. He is not as disconnected and separated from that home ground, divide ground, as, as one may think. And what really um, sentences us all the more to this sense of isolation and being separate is that it fades into the light of common day and uh, the awareness gets captured and obscured by thought and by the senses uh, see, hear, taste, touch and smell and the interpreting sense of the mind and 
and that is what he he calls the light of common day, the ordinary light of common day, as opposed to the light of our pure being. And um, he, you have to move to Kerry. What was what was I behind him to move to Kerry as yes. well? What I done was mostly moved all the books first. Uh, when one room of the house was finished in Mokras, just outside Killarney, we loaded up a van. I had every inch of it, and, and even in between us and the two seats were books packed into every inch, and uh, we had great fun.